managers need to be constantly prepared for what would happen if prices change, costs change, and there's other pressure from um, changing business conditions. We call that a sensitivity analysis. Another name for sensitivity analysis is a what-if analysis. We're going to say, what if sales price changes? What if costs change? And what if the sales mix changes? And let's take a look at how it would affect break-even point if any of these things change. First, let's take a look at what will change if the sales price changes. We know that if the sales price changes, our contribution margin will change, and so will our break-even point. It's easier to look at this graphically. Um, in class, we'll do calculations, and you will see how it changes. But uh, first, let's take a look at it graphically so uh, you can visualize it. This is what our CVP graph looks like. The green line represents sales revenue, and the purple line represents mixed costs. So you know that your break-even point is right here. What if we had to increase our selling prices? If we increase our selling prices, how is this graph going to change? We know that if we increase our selling price, our selling price per unit will go up, which means our slope will increase and our line will be steeper. The dotted line will represent your new sales revenue line. What happened to our break-even point? Our break-even point went down. It changed. Earlier it was at this point. Now it's we have to sell much less units to break even. Conversely, if your selling price had decreased if because of uh, pressure from competition, we had to decrease our selling price, we would have had a much flatter line, and then our break-even point would have increased, so we would have had to sell more, uh, more units. Next, let's take a look at what if variable costs change. If variable costs change, our contribution margin will also change, as well as our break-even point. Again, let's take a look at it graphically. Again, here's our CVP graph with our break-even point. This time, our variable costs are going to change. Let's say that our variable cost per unit increases. How is this graph going to change? Well, it's, it's going to still start at the same origin. It's still going to start at the same point because our fixed cost didn't change. But if our variable cost per unit increases, the line gets steeper because our slope is slope just increased. If our variable costs go higher, what happened to our break-even point? Before the change, our break-even point was here, but after the increase in variable costs, it changed. How did it change? Our break-even point increased. So now we have to sell more units in order to break even. Let's assume the opposite, where our variable cost per unit decreased, how would this line change? The original mixed cost line would be flatter, therefore we would have less units to sell in order to break even. Let's take a look at what if fixed costs change. How is that going to affect your contribution margin? If fixed costs change, it will not affect contribution margin. However, it will change your break even point. Let's see what the graph will do this time. Again, here's your uh, basic CVP analysis graph. This time, fixed costs are going to change. So how will this line change? How will the mixed cost line change? It's going to stay parallel to the existing line, but it's going to move up and down your y-axis. So let's say that your fixed cost increased. It's going to move up. It's going to stay parallel to the existing line, but it's going to move up. And as you can see, it did affect your break-even point. Our earlier break-even point was about right there. And our new break-even point is increased.